Hello everyone, this is Genesis on Live Tree TV. It's my great honor to share with you Captain Udekar's writing titled Types of Meridian Circulation System. Today's topic is a brief summary on the various meridian systems in the human body that we have studied so far. Also, their cosmic philosophical meanings will be explained. Let's get started. The meridian circulation in the human body can be largely divided into five systems. The first meridian system is the circulation through the 12 main meridian roots. The energy circulating through this system is called Yonggi. This circulation is driven by the magnetic field generated by the heart, which is called Shimsenghyol, meaning the generation of magnetic fields by the heart to circulate blood and qi energy. Both qi madang, meaning the field of qi energy for healing, and light madang, the field of light for healing, can be formed in this circulation. The second meridian system is the circulation through the eight extraordinary or homeostatic meridian roots. This circulation is governed by the Hui Um. Both Ki Ma Dang and Light Ma Dang can be formed in these circulation roots. The third meridian system is the circulation of the light of Chao Yuju Do, meaning the heavenly light flow diagram, displaying the sequential inflow of the heavenly light into the human body in a day. This circulation is controlled by the Shin Po, meaning the invisible pericardium. Through this circulation, the heavenly lights are supplied to the 12 major internal organs in the human body, composed of six viscera, the liver, heart, spleen, lungs, kidneys, and shinpo, and the six entrails, meaning the large intestine, small intestine, gallbladder, stomach, urinary bladder, and samcho. These circulation routes are also used as passages for the light of the chakra, and only light madan can be generated in this circulation system. The fourth meridian system is the circulation of Wigi, meaning the guardian energy circulating on the surface of the skin to protect the skin. This circulation is governed by the lungs and can have both Ki Ma Dang and Light Ma Dang generated. The fifth meridian system is the system for energy drainage through which Sa Gi meaning degenerated light and Tak Gi meaning impaired Gi energy are discharged out of the human body. This meridian solid system is driven by the magnetic field generated by the heart and can have only Ki Ma Dang formed. Various kinds of light of the grand universe are involved in the biological phenomena of the human body called a small universe after their vibrational frequencies are lowered. These lights of the grand universe are the lights of Zhao Yu Ju Do entering the human body through the Pek Kui at point of the human head. However, these lights have too high vibrational frequencies for the human body to use as they are. Thus, in order to utilize them, the human body employs an energy converting device located in the interdimensional space of the shin pole. And this sophisticated intelligent device is called the metahumanoid energy adjuster. When the cosmic light passes through this invisible device installed in the shin pole, its vibrational frequency gets decreased to be optimized for the human body, so that the light can be observed well by the 12 major internal organs in the microcosmic human body. According to Oriental medicine, the cosmic light entering the human body through the back way is called the light of Zhao Yu Ju Do. The light of Zhao Yu Ju Do is divided into 12 types of light 
of different spectra by the intangible energy converting device, the metahumanoid energy adjuster. Then these 12 types of light are supplied to internal organs through the third meridian circulation system as mentioned above. Human beings are connected to the wholeness consciousness of the grand universe through the metahumanoid energy adjuster and the third meridian circulation system. In this way, all living creatures are connected to the oneness consciousness of the grand universe. Behind the biological phenomena of every life form, the truth of mother nature is unfolded as a system of the visible world called Sek, the material world, and the system of the invisible world made up of key energy and light. The truth of the grand universe and the truth of mother nature are being manifested in the life phenomena to which the principles of cosmic engineering technologies are applied. Humankind is called the Lord of all creation. Human beings can embody the highest level of consciousness of all the creatures that have been created in the universe. The human body is the product created by integrating all the cosmic engineering technologies that have been accumulated in the universe so far. The body of Homo sapiens is the product of evolution that has been achieved during the evolution of the grand universe for the last six major cycles. This creature is the latest model as well as the best selling product in the universe created by a variety of laws of the universe and nature in the immediate world being combined together. The human body is the most preferred court for spirit souls to choose in the universe when taking a journey into the material world. What is invisible does not mean that it doesn't exist. With the help of numerous invisible mechanical devices, human beings can implement high levels of consciousness. The traces of the invisible world that make up the human body have been handed down to humankind through oriental medicine. Among them are acupoints, meridian roots, and chakras. Captain Udeka has introduced various kinds of meridian systems that are invisible but operating in the human body. These meridian systems will serve to broaden the existing paradigm related to oriental medicine, which has been considered too abstract and ambiguous due to its invisible nature. In addition, as a new approach to the meridian roots and systems, these will lay a foundation for new studies. This series of articles about operating mechanism of the meridian system and the life circuit diagram of Homo sapiens will guide human beings to the middle world. Inside the life truth that has been regarded as the mysteries of life hidden behind biological phenomena, you will gain insight into the truth of the grand universe and the truth of mother nature. I wish all the best for humanity. October 11th, 2017, Udeka wrote, translated by Genesis. Thank you so much for listening. See you next Thursday.